What's up everyone, Bradley Jack Design here and I wanted to share with you how you can use my sports card mock-up templates in your designs. They're very easy to use, I've tried to make them as user-friendly as possible, so I'm going to show you how you can use these. So let's start off with this slab here. There's a couple of things you can do. You can navigate through the layers to find items, but if you just go down to color and change it to blue, I have the, anything in here that you can change, I labeled as blue. So you can double click here to change the text. So if we open that, we now then have this open where we can change the text. Now I'm using universe, so you do need universe if you're going to use this, or you can use whatever font you want that'll look the same. So I can change this to, you know, 2020 card design. And then let's say we change this logo design to Devonte Adams. And then we'll leave this other stuff the same. You save that, you quit out of it, and it'll update automatically on here with the effects that I have for this to make it look realistic. You can also just double click here, which is where the design goes. So I've got a texture on top, which gives this sort of edge uh, roughness to it, but you just put your design above this. So if I take a Devonte Adams card design I have and drag it on top of here, it's in this folder, I can hit save, and then if we go back to our slab, it's already edited in there. Then what you can do is if you go back to kind so you can see everything, you can just copy and paste this top folder into your design. And that will move everything around so you don't have this background, you can use whatever background you want. And that's the same for all of the slabs. So what you can do is you can go in to color and you can find any of the blue layers and that's where you can change things. So we can change this number here to whatever we want. We can go here and we can change all the information up here. Now this slab specifically doesn't allow changes here because it's a black label pristine 10, which means everything's labeled 10. But we can go here to the card design like we did before. We can drag our design into this and we can put it in the folder and then we're good to go. Now the file size for this card, I have it set up to 21 by 2940. Essentially what it is, um, if we go to inches, it's a seven by 9.5, which is a ratio of 2.5 by 3.5, cause that's what a trading card is. So anything at that ratio, um, if you have it set to around 2000 pixels, it should be, should be good for your designs. So we have that, so we, if we save that, you can see we now have it in here. That applies for this one here. Just go to kind, go to not smart object, go to color, and then go to blue. And you can see what you can change. You can change the text, you can change the card. And then that's the same for here. Now on these, on the one touches and on the top loaders, I have it a little bit different. You can just, in this main section, you can double click this top item here that says drop design here. And you can see it's labeled blue. We can drop our design into here, save it, and then when we go back, after it saves, it might take a little bit of time, because it has to load into everything. You can see it's been loaded into every single top loader. And then you can go down and you can find the top loader you want. You can just right click and then you can select which one it is. And you can just copy and paste that into your design. Now if you already have these in a design, um, you can, if you copy this and paste it in and copy and paste another one, you can then change the design from there. And that applies to these one touches as well. It has card design here. You double click that smart object to open the smart object, drag in the design, save, go back to our one touches. And when we go back, you can see that they've all changed. Now these are all the same size here. These right here are tobacco cards. So these are a different size. So you do need to um, keep that in mind. Now I have just a card design set up to it um, that's cropped, but you would have to change the size or design within those parameters. But let's say we want to take this one touch, copy it, let's make a new design. Let's just say 2000 by 2500. And I can paste that, so then I have this one touch in this area. Let's give this a different background. I don't need web colors, whatever. So let's just fill this with green. So you can see we have our one touch here. If we grab another one touch, I can copy and we can go to our 
design here and paste it. But if I want to change this to be a different card, I can navigate to the design folder that's blue, double click that, and then we can find a, another design. So I have another design here. Let me just find it. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter what it is. We can pick anything. So let me just drag this over. So here's this graphic I made. You can see it's not the right size, so it's gonna be a little, little off, but I can save this here. And then when we go back, only this one changed because these are now different smart objects. So now I have two cards on here. If we wanted to grab this slab and copy and paste the folder over, it will paste that on top of it. And you may need to resize a couple things so the cards are the same size. So I will just take this, size it down a little bit so the cards that are inside the cases are roughly the same size just so it's a little bit more realistic. So something like that. And then we can navigate into this. Design goes here. You can just double click this. You can pick another design that you may have done. Um, we will choose this. We'll toss it in here. Again, this isn't the right ratio, but it's a better ratio. Save that, go back here. So now we have this on our design as well. So that's how you can use these. And the same goes for the top loaders. So if we go to the top loaders, we can grab this one with yellow tape. We can paste that in here. You know, it's the same size as the other cards. We can rotate, move it around. And then we wanna make sure it's not in any of the other folders. And then we can navigate in here, card and sleeve. Here's the card design. Again, it's labeled blue. You can double click that, find another design. You have know, anything you want, you know, we'll drag this here, make it bigger, save, place before saving, go back to our untitled design, and then it will populate inside this top loader. So now we have this top loader. Whoops, but we don't wanna move that. We wanna move the entire top loader. So we've got our graded case. We've got our one touch on here. We've got our other one touch on here, all with the transparency and the shadows to make it look realistic. So that is how you can use my sports card mock-ups to add something to your design. Or if you just wanna mock up a card design you made, put it on like a table background or something like that. This is how you can do that. So I hope this was informative. Um, if you guys have any other questions about that, feel free to reach out. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the sports card pack.